Hello, my dear students. I hope you're doing great. Today we will continue with module one, project two. So get ready to practice writing. After watching this video, you will be able to write the first draft about yourself, revise the paragraph using the arms technique, edit the paragraph using the cops strategy, write your final draft and present it. So let's start. Do you remember this boy from yesterday's lesson? So let me give you some choices. This is Amir. Or this is Salim. Or this is Khalid. Think about it. Excellent. This is Amir. What did he write about? Did he write about his friends or about the holiday or about the actions that he can and cannot do? Excellent. So, he wrote about the actions that he can and cannot do. And today we will write a similar paragraph. So, get ready. Before we start, let me explain to you the writing process. The first step is called trade writing where you think about the topic brainstorm and plan the second step is drafting where you quickly put your thoughts on paper the third step is revising where you try to improve your writing by reworking on the details The fourth step is editing, where you review and correct spelling, grammar, capitalization, and punctuation. The fifth step is evaluating, where you assess what has been written. And finally, as publishing, where you share your final writing with others. And now let's start with the first step, pre-writing. As you know, today you are going to write a paragraph about yourself. In your paragraph, you should mention your name and your age. And even you can mention your country. Where are you from? In addition to that, you should talk about the actions that you can and cannot do. Now we're going to recall the writing tab, which is on the student's book, page 17. It says that all sentences start with a capital letter and finish with a full stop. For example, I am nine years old. The sentence starts with capital I and it ends with full stop. Remember to check punctuation and capital letters in your writing. Now please open your workbook, page 14, and let's work on activity 2 together. Here we are still in the pre-writing stage. We're going to answer questions about ourselves. I'm going to show you how did I do it, and then I want you to pause the video and Answer by yourself. Number one, what's your name? My sentence is, my name is Omar. Two, how old are you? I'm nine years old. What can you do? I can draw. What can't you do? I can swim. Now pause the video and try to answer by yourself. Make sure to use a pencil only so you can edit your work easily. Excellent! Now let's move to the second step which is drafting. 
we're going to use the notes in activity two to write about ourselves. Again, remember to use only pencil. I will show you what did I do, and then I want you to do it by yourself. Hello, I'm Omar. I'm nine years old. I can draw and I can run. I can't swim. Now pause the video and do it by yourself. Excellent. And now it's revising time. We're going to revise the paragraph using the arms. Let me explain to you how. The arms technique allows you to add words or sentences in order to add more interesting details to the paragraph. And it's even allow you to remove useless words or sentences. In addition to that, you can move words or sentences that aren't in their correct place. And finally, you can substitute words or sentences with better ones. And now, let's revise our paragraph using the arms. I will show you what did I do, and then I want you to apply the arms technique on your paragraph too. Hello, I am Omar. I am nine years old. I can draw nicely. So I added the word nicely to describe how do I draw. And I can run very fast. I can swim. And then I added the sentence, my father always helps me while swimming. Now pause the video and try to apply the arms on your paragraph too. Perfect. Isn't it more interesting now? And now let's move to the fourth step, which is editing. How to edit a text? You can use the cups to edit your paragraph. Hmm, seems interesting. Let's see. By cups, we mean capitals. Make sure to capitalize the words at the beginning of sentences, proper nouns, and I. Let's go through the example. My name is Ali. It is incorrect because the sentence should start with a capital letter. And even the proper noun Ali, it's supposed to be in capital. Like, my name is Ali with capital N and capital A. Understanding. Make sure to use the suitable tense when writing. I brushed my teeth every day. Hmm, there is something wrong. Do you agree with me? Excellent. Brushed with ED. It doesn't match the every day, which is a time expression, belongs to present simple tense. It should be, I brush my teeth. Every day. In addition to that, cups also care about punctuation. So you should make sure to end your sentences with full stop. Such as, look at the first sentence, my name is Ali. What's missing? Excellent, the full stop. It also care about the spelling. So you should make sure that your paragraph has no spelling mistakes. Look at this sentence. I can play football. Where is the spelling mistake? Good. Play. It should be P-L-A-Y. Play. Now let's edit the paragraph using the cups. Let's bring the sentence back. Hello, I am Omar. What do you think is missing here? Think about it. 
Excellent. Punctuation. The sentence should end with a follow stop. I am nine years old. I can draw nicely. And I can run very fast. I think that there is something wrong here again. What do you think? Excellent. Capital. The I supposed to be in capital. I can't swim. My father always helps me while swimming. What do you think? Excellent. Stilling. Swim. Supposed to be S W I M. Swim. Now it's your turn to use the cups to edit your work. Pause the video and work on it. Excellent. And now let's move to step number five, which is evaluating. As we said, in the evaluating step, you're going to assess your writing by using a writing checklist, such as the following. Number one, I spelled all the words correctly. If you did it, please put a happy face for yourself. And if not, it's fine. You can work on it next time. Two, I used capital letters at the beginning of each sentence. Three, I used correct punctuation at the end of each sentence. Four, I used the spaces between words. So, how many happy faces you got? Excellent. I'm so proud of you. Today we finally made it to the last step which is publishing where you're going to share your writing with everyone. So now open your English notebook to write the paragraph neatly and without any mistakes. You can draw yourself as well so your teacher can publish your work. But before that, can you tell me the steps that your writing went through today? Think about it. Excellent. The first step is the pre-writing, where you brainstorm your ideas. And the second step is drafting, where you put your thoughts on paper. And the third step is revising, where you try to improve your writing. And then step number four is editing, where you review and correct spelling, grammar, capitalization, and punctuation. Number five is evaluating, where you use the writing checklist. And finally is publishing. Thank you so much and see you soon.